Hey, 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 what's up champions? Gideminas here. Hope you guys are doing fantastically well. Welcome to Financial Freedom TV. And today I wanted to talk about building your business locally or globally. So if you're watching a replay of this video, please do me a massive favor and stick hashtag replay into the comments. If you're brand new, if you're watching one of my videos for the first time, please do say new in the comments as well. Would love to say hi to you and welcome you to the tribe. And if you get value from this video, as always, feel free to share it. Maybe somebody else will get some value too. So uh, very often people ask this question, you know, should I build my business locally or globally or how should I build it? Right. And as, as with most things, there's few sides to this thing, right? So one side is um, about building locally in order to be more efficient. Because, you know, the grass is always greener. And I've seen so many people, uh, they, have they have hundreds of thousands of people in their own city, in their own town, but they look to build in Timbuktu, right? Like thousands of miles away from where they are, right? And, and for some reason, that's always so much sexier. That's always so much more exciting to build somewhere new, right? To build in a new territory. But you have to take into account that when you're building with long distance, it's always more challenging because you can't just pop around the corner and meet this person. You can't just visit them and do a training, right? Everything is online. Everything is virtual. Everything is more difficult. Sometimes there's time zone differences and things like that. So my advice is always start where you are because that's the easiest. If you build in your local area, you can go meet the person for a cup of coffee. You can do local trainings, local presentations, local meetings, etc. So it builds that relationship. It gives you that connection, right? Even if you're building in your own country, it's the same time zone. It's the same time. It's the same uh, processes. It's the same systems, right? So very often, it's a lot easier to start building where you are instead of looking for these grand new regions, etc. However, once you started building locally, once you started, you know, growing your team in your country, then of course, there will be people who say, well, I know somebody in Spain. I know somebody in Portugal. I know somebody in Africa. I know. So if your company has presence in those countries, then of course, the next step is to start expanding your business. And very often, it's very simple process of just asking your team members, hey, who do you know in other countries? Hey, who do you know in that country? And most people have relatives, friends, schoolmates, people they used to study with who live in different countries. And they could reach out to those people and say, hey, by the way, my company is expanding to your country. Would you by any chance be open to take a look, right? So then your business can start growing internationally and that's also have its own advantages and challenges, of course, right? So because, you know, sometimes you have different languages and different locations, etc. there's always a, a, bit, a bit of challenges, right? You have to have different groups, for example, Facebook groups for different languages and so on, right? But there's also advantages. Because if your business is spread out around the world and let's say something political or something, you know, economical happens in a certain country and your business stops in that country, if all of your business is only in that country, then you're done, right? Like your income just disappeared overnight. But if your business is spread out through 20, 30, 40 countries and one country goes down, Hey, you still got majority of your income left and you carry on building the business, right? Still sucks, right? But you're not as affected when everything is just in one place, right? So the, the best tip is start local to grow global, right? So build local to eventually grow global. That's the advice for today, my friends. Hope you got value. If you did, feel free to share it. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you at the top. Bye for now.